So the four-time All-Australian with a job on one of the inform forwards in the competition. The Scarlet retreats and back to Harley. And the problem for the Saints too, Kazetsky compounded this error by giving away the free kick. Here's Burns, who's been in splendid form. 15 goals in his last five games. It took him three seasons to get 15. Down goes Harley. Strong tackle. Milne taken by Jones. First goal of the afternoon. Now, it's a fantastic win by St Kilda in terms of it's the first time Geelong have had a chance to set up our defence. Cleek Jones has got the ablet uh, matchup, but it's a tackling pressure, which has been a highlight of the St Kilda's performance the whole year. I guess as soon as the, whole, the, the ball went low to Harley, it was a great tackle. But it's just a win for Jones, even though uh, he's the, uh, the close checker on Ablett. When you get a goal, all of a sudden Ablett has to worry about him a little bit. But he's got it inside 50 to Moon. Back Montagna off one step. Oh. He had a lot more time than that. Turned it over to Bartel. Geelong love to go up the corridor, and they're about to do so. So it's little one. Missed though by Stokes. Gilbert and now Fisher to set it up for the Saints. Well, he can almost go all the way here. He's given it a ride. Milne waits, oh, but Ruse come from nowhere. Is that inside? Is it inside? Inside, inside. Straight, straight out. Hurry, just here, mate. kicks the second what an explosive start the captain going back with a flight of the ball not the first time it gives him a total of 123 for the season and bear in mind last week they were goalless in the opening term against the tigers amazing a bit of stimulation as this ball floats down towards half forward from Goddard. Fisted in front by Mackey, taken by Jones. Goes back to Goddard. Goddard on the wing. Spearing kick. Oh, oh what a beauty. Kozitski. Blake on the ground. Hayes' little handball didn't go far. Enright. Back to Corey. Back inside the 50. Varco and Gilbert. He's had a good start, Gilbert. He's had a very good season. A good two or three seasons. That kick, Kaczynski leaves it for Milne. Scarlett committed. Little give by McWalter. Jones clever. McWalter's little kick. Cosie's got it. He's been accurate this year, Kaczynski. 31-10 before today. Now, his first shot was a good one. He was just a little bit too far out. This one he struck perfectly. So the big guns are kicking goals, and the Saints are away. Just not Hayes in board, Schneider's little gift, Del Santo, can he deliver, he was under pressure, Cosi on the up, the handball's good, Gardner doesn't get a lot on it, Revolt can't quite get to Bartel, he put pressure on him, Kelly Bartel, Selwood Lynn, pressure, wow. Gardner got a tap on it, Fisher goes for goal and kicks it, that will hurt. Free game, we showed some vision, Lee, of the Cats taking that kick and going inside. Lim tried to take that kick again. Geelong aware of that. They forced the turnover. And here's the kick from Ling. Tries to force a kick in there. They like to stay inside the corridor. They don't like to go outside the corridor. That's where they like to attack from. But Fisher read that particularly well then. I don't think that Geelong... So Milburn going for distance. Bartel almost falls in front. Chapman stood there, did well. Again, great pressure. Graham applied a tackle. Hand pass came from Ling, though. Picked up towards the wing by Chapman Stokes. Ablett is moving. He goes in that direction. Why not? Stars attract the footy, but he wins the footy. Ablett's away, and now he's getting 50. Oh, the barest of touches. I think he played on. I think he was very, un very unlucky, Jones. So, the first goal about to be registered for the Cats after a long wait, two and a half minutes from quarter time. In controversial fashion, he puts a throw. So, boundary throw. So, boundary throw in, approaching quarter time. Blake has done well, decisively. Down to Ablett to Varko. Varko is through. Varko, 35.
five meters up. He's got to get another chance. He missed the initial shot. It's a high tackle, not a relayed free kick. I could answer that. No, I was just asking, does he want the point or the free kick? <laughs> That's a hard decision. Yeah. Well, if you were stuck for an answer, you'd be dropped next week. <laughs> Hang on. Can I find a friend? <laughs> <laughs> so, Marco, his confidence is on the rise in recent games. This would be nice. Against everything that's happened, Geelong have kicked a couple. Good kick by Blake, found Dawson. Brand's running. What? You've seen him now. He's a good kick, Dawson, isn't he? On! So Graham, who's the number one player for taking the ball inside the 50 for the Saints, to McWalter. His forward pressure's been a key to their success this year, McWalter. Good kick take them and disperse them to different parts of the ground which has opened up the space for them when they have gone forward. So Kozicki and Revolt a couple between them in the opening term. It's a difficult kick. She's done a good job. He's struck it beautifully. Look a bit there. Geelong had worked so hard for that shot at goal, hadn't they? Here's Schneider and on his mill. Now, this could be interesting. You know he'll take off. Does the right thing. In short to McWalter. He's kicked a goal in 10 of his 13 matches this year. His forward pressure's been terrific. He leads the Saints in tackles inside the 50. He struck that well. And the Saints get the first two of the second term. Just reverberating, as I said earlier, around the stadium. Enright goes back to Bartell. Bartell to Ling. Just staying off the pack. Enright, or rather Corey. A couple of them, actually. Corey was the chosen one. And Ling got it from Hogan and just popped it across to Enright. Enright comes back towards the middle. Got there in time. Barco. Beautiful hand pass. Mackey. Rook. Barco forced to hold up. Precision. Milburn. That is Geelong at its best role. Adam! Adam Schneider! Well, a bit riding on this kick. So far, their goal kick is Gary Ablett and Travis Barco. A couple of defenders have come forward to kick goals for the Saints. Milburn does that for Geelong. Atkinson. Chapman, left half back, kicks it up to the wing. Mooney attracts a crowd. Three Saints up with him. Goddard still got the crumb. That's remarkable. To Ray, to Baker, Blake, fine bounds, plenty of time. Short one, half volley. Dawson goes back to Blake. Varko's got him, holding the ball. It's been important, Varko. Now Mooney looking up. Long kick, Ablett. And plays on and oh. kicks the goal. Why? <laughs> Who knows? But it is Ablett. <laughs> yeah. Closest they've been since the five minute mark of the opening term. Spills across the ball, feeds it to McWalter, kicks inside the forward 50. What a beautiful kick. Taylor made. Schneider goes in. And how's that for a quick reply? Taking it all in, Mark Thompson, the kick inside the four. Oh, 50, oh, terrific, oh, Mark Bartell. Oh, the Brownlow medalist launched himself as if he came off a trampoline. Stokes, Ling on the wing. Joel Corey doesn't kick too many goals. Joel Corey spins out of trouble. He's made it hard. Good snap, miracle goal. Terrific. Well, he's got the initials for it. Well, I think Joel Corey then, when he when he decided to get inside Dawson, he just didn't want to kick it. He wanted to get back inside. But I thought for a bit for a moment that, oh, no, that was a bad decision. But he just kept his composure. 
and just was able to wish to execute really well from that 40 meter uh, 40 meter range to make the goal it looked like a certain goal but it looked like it might not be uh, but Corey made it happen because he wasn't in a great position he didn't try very hard to disguise it though either did he so got out got it from del santo important ball here revo with Taylor and then Revol bringing it back. Kozicki and Gardner. Oh! And Gardner stands tall. So Gardner, he's done well kicking goals this year. 7 3 from set shots. He got a goal earlier today. That's important. Gets it back from Ablett. Mm. And Rook so strong in the air. Oh, just getting back Thank the ball, too. Just 33 minutes he played in the first half. So maybe they were saving him for a bigger second half. G. Rook's kick, Corey couldn't quite take it, but he got it to Enright, to Stokes, to Ablett through the centre corridor. Back turn, Stokes, Scarlett, Mackey's wide. He's going to go with a little dinky kick. And Mackey, a lovely That's finish. Such an mark by Taylor, wasn't it, a moment ago, and a one-on-one -on -one with Revolt. And Mackey has oh, struck it sweetly oh, oh. and kicked the goal that Geelong needed so desperately. Well done by Mumford again, down decisively. The ball guides. Chapman got it from Ablett to Stokes. That's a beautiful kick. Almost the involuntary mark there. Had he kept coming, it would have tattooed his chest. And another, the Camster. Another 50 metre shot. Maybe the long distance shot is what he needs to kick firmly through the footy. Their work around the stoppages has been good this morning. Let's see what he does. Cam Mooney, the kick, the result, the roar! Can they get within a kick by getting the next goal? McAvoy in the ruck, won by Mumford. Here is Milburn, back to Mumford. Rook's the target, oh, over the back, Stokes becoming important, Rook to Selwood, left oh. foot, it's going to roll, and it's going to oh. roll through <laughs> for goal, they're within a kick. Well, isn't that exhilarating, I mean Selwood was just fantastic, one of the things we know about Selwood, he's prepared to get knocked over as he kicks the footy. So he's prepared to actually still take the kick. He knew there was going to be a heap of contact coming. What a wonderful finish. It's been an exhilarating last two minutes of footy. Stokes has got his hand on the ball in the last five minutes too, hasn't he? A couple of times. That one touch footy there was as good as you'll ever see. He just took his run into the ball. I didn't think that was a free kick at all. Kozetsky. Now Goddard is running. Goddard kicks beyond the wing, revolts straight up like a jumping jack. Gets around Taylor, 55 metres out. Can Corey oh. get back? I doubt he can. Inboard, Fisher, Hayes again. Now Kozicki wants it and he's going to find him. That's a lovely build up. He's got players running, Cozzy. Can he go the distance? Well, he has to now. He had a couple of options. They were 50 50s, and he thought, I'll take responsibility. He's got the length. It's only a matter of whether we can kick it this uh, accurately from this long, long range. About to find out. Looking good. Looking very good. He's kicked it. The Twin Towers have got five between them. Delivers to centre half forward. Milne's in a very good position. His half volley was good. He slipped. And the handball not that effective. Though Fisher squeezes it. Revolt misses it. Gardner loping in. Gets a boot to it. Munford gets back. Oh. And his handball hit the behind post. And. Okay, was that out in the full? So Montagna Gardner's kicked his third, and the Saints lead by four kicks. What a road play! His knees, Hayes. What a game he's played. Floats it up towards the wing. Harley kept coming. 
Finds it on the ground. Kicks to half forward. Going back is Gilbert. Giving a contest down there was Mooney. Ricochets off Burns. Comes to Milburn. Milburn pops it up to Burns. Wonderful stuff there by Blake. Burns in pursuit. Will it stay in? Gilbert's tracking him. Gilbert got him. Wonderful despairing tackle. It comes back to Milburn. He's got it just outside the 50. Short one in the strong mark. No. Ablett put it down. Barco trying to find a way through. Hand passes towards full forward. Knocked down by Ralph Clark. Knocked out by Barco. Taken by Rook. And by Hooker by Crook. Rook has kicked the goal. Oh boy, there's no easy goals today. No easy goals at all, really, from either end. And Ablett almost was able to outposition uh, Jones to mark the footy. Then it was just a question of hunt it, hunt it, hunt it until maybe we could get it to a forward in space. Rook was at forward, and he kicked the goal at least to keep Geelong within striking distance. Still a chance, aren't they? It keeps them alive. Gilbert, Gilbert, good kick. Kaczynski up the ground. That's not such a good kick. Oh, well done. Oh, oh. No, Bartel. He's played one of the best games of his career, the Brownlow medalist. It's 50 against oh. Schneider, I think. It had to be just inside 50 from that. Uh, so Bartel will take the kick. The Razor are saying that wasn't disposable. I think they would have been much better without the 50 metre penalty as it turned out because it was like broken play and there was a lot of free players. Four, I reckon you might have had your hands up in the air. Whereas you had a minute, okay. Just outside Bumping his action. range again here too, Bartel. So they're going to yeah. have to find another Jones, kick, another target inside 50. And this is where St Kilda have been so great all afternoon defending. But well, he uses Chapman. He tries a spiral, doesn't get on to it. Gardner falling over. It's a goal. It's gone all the way. <laughs> Just amazing. Just amazing how many goals have had to be kicked from difficult situations because that has hardly been, no one's really from either side has been really able to mark the ball 15 metres out there for point black shots. So this one has totally come from nowhere. He didn't even get onto it, Luke. That was a slippery turf. That was a slippery turf. It wasn't a good spiral. It just was 10-7. Nine points the difference. The other 11. Getting excited. Chapman goes back. Still thinking about his good fortune. Corey is running off half back. Down the throat of Mooney. And Mooney, yeah, hang it. on. No, 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 hold it. Hold it. No, 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 hold it. Don't do anything silly, right? <laughs> There's there enough force, mate. Okay, let's go back here on the 50, thanks. Eight of the 22 goals have been kicked from outside 50. And we saw Cal Cam Mooney unload one before. His kicking action is often better when he knows he has to really kick the ball hard. Umpire Vazo channeling Dr. Phil. Here comes the kick from Mooney. Long bomb. Right on the line, knocked no. forward. Goal in pieces. Says, Goal! <laughs> <laughs> Off the ground. Burns, good pick up. Hayes onto him. Ablett in hard. Baker's little gift, terrific. Jones, good. Hayes, so good in this turn. Low kick, lovely kick. Revolt. Kaczynski's on the burst. Revolt goes over the top. That's a lovely kick to Milne. He takes a lot of set shots, Milne, does he? He's happiest when he's snapping and running. Five goals, six from set shots this year. It's floating and wobbling. It's a goal. That's Australian for oops. So again held up in the tackle. Chapman to Rook. Well, they're out here. Bartell's, Bartell's on. Bartell's got a penny. They've got the numbers here. He's got to carry it. Goes low with a beautiful kick to Milburn. <laughs> to put Milburn to full forward. Not sure the last time he kicked two goals in a match, but he's got it now. Geelong come again.
Gardner, only as far as Chapman. Holding, advantage. advantage is paid. Ring is away. A goal to level the scores. Again. Cats are surging. Ling in midfield. Mooney on the lead. Man on on the flank. Stokes wants the football. Give it to him. Goes wide. Stokes has got it now. Open goal. Scores a tide. And the tide is rolling for the Cats. In hard rook. Corey with Clark. Free kick to Corey. <laughs> Jones at half back, down the line, Revolt and Taylor, ball bouncing, still in, taken by Milberg, little handball, oh. back to Chapman. They can barely pick their legs up, Taylor to half forward, three Saints working at the back, Fisher. But one Geelong forward moved then to the ball, they just couldn't. Goddard, this deserves a draw. Now it's a game of Kelvin's off, because it's broken play, there'll be teammates clear, this must hold possession. Doris into Del Santo. Gilbert involved earlier. Montagna's got it on the wing. Over the shoulder. No 50. The ball's free here too. Montagna. Always dangerous with the ball in his hands. Goes to Luke Ball. Dropping back his revolt. It's in his ballpark. Lyon willing this kick through. If he kicks it, he doubts and Kilda can lose. He's kicked it. That's been a really valuable contribution by Gardner, those four goals. And Mostly, generally speaking, Ruckman are poor defenders. They haven't really got the speed to go with their direct opponent. And again, we've seen King, um, basically Blake, basically looking sort of real defensively. If your opponent jumps, you've got to jump yourself. But Blake just didn't quite have the speed to get in there. And when uh, Gardner launched himself at it, he's got some very valuable goals. So down to a minute. It's Gardner's 30th birthday today, and he's kicked four. Saints all going back behind the ball. It's a great shot of it. Geelong need every bit of luck they can get now. Del Sato hacks it for it. Revolt, well done, Mackey. Pressure, Hogan, just his second match. Montagna cuts it off. Little give. Free kick. So technical against Milne. To Kelly, to Corey. And Corey wide. To Corey Enright. This is the last roll of the dice. Mumford to Enright. Enright to half forward. Mooney uses his body illegally. He's going to fight the ball. That's a man, still two actions. So now St Kilda will just kick it around. Geelong racing back to pick up the man. Geelong will be good enough to get back to make sure he has to kick it over the man on the mark. Kozetsky, close to the boundary line. Gardner rises like a colossus. We talked about him before the game. Attack them at their weakness. And although Mumford's been okay, some kill to win.